what's happening out there, everyone? It's Lawrence. I uh, just read this article, and this just goes to show how overly sensitive people in society are. There's a guy, he's a vegan. He's suing Burger King because they got something called the Impossible Whopper. And he's upset because the burger, which is supposedly vegan friendly, is cooked on the same grill that has meat on it. So what? You know, that stuff, you know, it kind of tends to happen, all right? Some stuff tends to bleed over onto other stuff. It doesn't taint it all that badly. This guy gives vegans a horrible name. So a little tiny bit of meat gets onto your burger. Cry me a river. Boo-hoo. That is so absurd to do that. Is this guy like Steve Bozell on the Phil Hendry show where he's going to call his lawyer Dolores Blazengain over this? Is he that upset over this whole situation? So a little bit of meat got mixed in to his impossible Whopper because they're on the same grill. You know, there's a possibility. Did you ever stop to think that maybe, just maybe, they clean the grill? So maybe stuff like this doesn't happen a lot, it might happen, you know, it might happen periodically because, you know, you can't get every little bit off. It's, it's just, you know, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. It just goes to show me that people today are overly sensitive. This guy is just looking for a payday. He wants to be a victim because a little bit of meat got into his impossible Whopper and he's probably one of these strict vegans. He's probably one of the guys who supports PETA. And by the way, ladies and gentlemen, I've said this before, I do not trust PETA at all because they're not ethical and they're anti-Semitic. They are anti-Semites. Back in 2003, they had a campaign called Holocaust on Your Plate. What kind of crap is that? There's one, there's a way to preserve the Holocaust, and then there's a way to not preserve the Holocaust, and they did it that way. PETA opted to basically compare Jewish people to what animals go through. They treat, they treated Jewish people like second-class citizens. They should count their lucky stars that the Jewish Anti-Defamation League didn't come on didn't come down on them like a ton of bricks. This guy is an embarrassment to vegans, all right? If you want to be vegan, that's great. More power to you. Enjoy it. He's one of these guys who probably pushes his beliefs on everyone. Doesn't that drive you nuts? People who just force their beliefs on you and basically say, it's my way or the highway. Those are the kind of people that you don't want to affiliate with. That's my commentary on that. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.